On the evening of Saturday, November 5th, Malasha's Palace Chrysler was the site of the Lions Club's A Christmas for Everyone charity dinner and auction. After a two-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, attendees seemed excited to be back to support the fundraiser. It's almost like falling off a bike, you always remember. Uh, just trying to get back into the flow of everything. It's been way too long, um, but uh, I think by the, based on what the crowd we have this year, it's going to be a fantastic night, and I really hope everybody enjoys themselves and have, just has a great time. Those in attendance enjoyed a buffet dinner courtesy of Metamora Golf and Country Club's Fairway Catering. There was a live auction, wine pull, cookie sales, and a silent auction was replaced by a bucket raffle with tables of prizes donated by local businesses and organizations. Well, we got to start off with the Malash family, of course. Can't just is not possible at all without them. Uh, Liberty Way, um, converting alternatives, uh, Orient Assisted Living. Those are our big sponsors. There's just so many other uh, companies out here, businesses that have helped us out with donations. That just so many to the list. The event raises funds for the Lions Club's Christmas Basket Program, which helps families in need with two weeks of food plus toys for the kids. Volunteers will gather at the Cirque Building on December 16th to organize the food and toy donations, then deliver them to families on Saturday, December 17th. All of the funding that we raise tonight will go 100% to that. Um, last couple years, thankfully, we've been able to kind of live off of our, of our reserves that we've had. So this is a real welcome uh, boost to our, to our finances. If you miss the event, it's not too late to donate. You can contact the Lake Orion Lions through their Facebook page. They will also be selling Goodfellows newspapers the weekend of Thanksgiving and the first weekend in December. In Orion Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.